Basically, say how long it can stay in G zero and still goes back to cell cycle. <coughs> what what implies if cells permanently stay at G zero, that is a dead cell. Right? If cell never divide, although some people will argue that's not the case because uh, in engineering, and uh, people can put cell in. In active metabolic state, and keep making ethanol, but never divide. What would be the purpose of that? What? What would be the purpose of that? Generation of ethanol. It, oh. When you go to get you see ten percent ethanol, that that come out. <laughs> yeah. So so it's kind of a tricky definition when we go to a chronological aspect. But here we use a dividing as a trait. If cell cannot divide, that's a bad cell. Exactly, you, you, you can hit a similar gray area even when, you, when we talk about the human age. Right. Right. When we say how long... <laughs> okay. When we say how long a person lives, so that means how long the heart will be or how long the brain will be active. Is that the kind of gray <laughs> so, in, in most of the cases, these two times are probably very close, so it doesn't even matter. But sometimes, like in one year, I remember there was a Florida woman, uh, and it was declared brain dead, and I somehow still living for a long, long time. Sometimes you can, can you also meet, uh, can, can see a same blurring areas. Okay, and uh, <coughs> for rapid lifespan, we do a micro dissection. Basically, count how many buds. Uh, for a chronological lifespan, we measure CFUs or colony forming unit. Those counts are basically will go to your project report. So if, if you can't even explain that in your project report, kind of a <laughs> have a problem there. <laughs> so, right. so <clears throat> and we use the Gunther's model to quantify this aging. Gunther's model, to, so the East aging kind of a, this kind of sigmoidal shape. There's a lot of sigma uh, function to explain this uh, sigma model uh, shape, but the one we use is a complex model. Okay, so what are we here? Okay, I'm expecting another exciting oh. answer. <laughs> uh, 
This is form of a. Uh, that is the. Um, I know that we're, we're using the slope and the. Excellent. That the S P T is slope. And the. Um, the S P T uh, is is it negative or positive? It's negative. Yes. So we take a negative or negative to measure the positive change. Okay. Yeah. But why we do it 1 over s, s is viability? Um, because we're trying to not measure death rate, but... Um, relative death rate. Relative death rate, okay. Yeah. Basically, the, the chance of dying is relative to the population size. Okay. Yeah. Since in the beginning, population size we say is 100%, right? But in the beginning, if there is one fraction of peop, uh, chance of dying, they say one fraction of uh, individual in the population will die, that means the chance is 0.1 out of 1. It's really, uh, oh, sorry, 0.01 out of 1, it's really 1%. But later on, when the population already say uh, start to decrease, let's say decrease to 50%, we still see the relatively about 0.1% uh, uh, fraction has has passed away, that chance is 1% out of 50% actually is 2% by then. So it's actually double by then. So if we you always use the DSDT, that's that's an absolute change, but it's relative change that's going to increase. And that increase we say it follows what function? The law of it's just opposite of log logarithmic function. If you take a log of this, that's going to be linear. But if it's something is log linear, that, that's exponential function. Okay. <laughs> I get the <laughs> So this is exponential function. If something is an exponential function, we take a log, that's going to become linear. Right? So basically, that's what the virus is. So virus has a, it's completely uh, uh, follow, uh, oh, I, I think I'm jumping a little bit. So yes, something, if something is exponential, you take a log of a linear, but the key is the uh, uh, mortality exponential, uh, viability is double exponential. But if the mortality, uh, if the, so the, here's, a, here's my key mar argument. So this G, what we call Gumpert's parameter, giving credit to the person who first reported this observation. So this G, what's the unit of G here? What's the unit? Yeah. Kilogram, second, hours, meters. What's the unit of this G here? Why, why, why would you say that? Uh, so, so anything goes to the power shouldn't have any unit, should be a unitless number. So anything there should be a unitless number. And so, so if G times time is, doesn't have any unit, that means G has a the unit should be 1 over time. If something is 1 over time, what does that mean? Yeah, it's, it's rate, right? So, so the G has a unit of 1 over time. So it's a, we can use that to approximate uh, the, the increase, it's not to increase, the acceleration of mortality rate. Because the DSDT is already rate. The changing of rate is, is the, the, the acceleration rate. Does that make sense? So the, this is a G, so when you drive a car, you kind of, uh, you can increase your speed. But how fast can you increase? So the G basically measure, measure how fast you can accelerate. How, 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 how So it's measuring how fast the replication rate is it? If it's replicative aging. Yeah. Okay. How fast the, the chance of dying has been increased. And this is basically the mortality rate. So the M is already a rate. The, the, the acceleration of that rate is also a speed. 
And if that accelerates, that's an aging. If it doesn't accelerate, that means the chance of dying is constant. Right. Which means it doesn't age. Right? Yes. Right. So that's, uh, that's, that's the whole point uh, of why we are doing this, actually. Because once we have this definition, it actually can, things become so much interesting. <laughs> Instead of we say this agent, but we actually can have, can have a constant. Uh, basically, let's just summarize the model again. Uh, so this time I change this to n to n zero just to make it more consistent, nomination more consistent. Okay, so if something doesn't age, which means the mortality is really a constant, oh, I should change this one to n zero. Sorry about this. Uh, uh, I'm going to change this again to. Yeah, this uh, I don't understand if there's another question mark. I just add it out. Okay, so if the rate of aging is zero, mortality rate is a constant, and the viability is basically uh, exponential decay just like the radioactive isotope and for exponential decay viability yes so okay so th I, you might be about to answer this question but this graph compared to the ones that we've drawn on the board this one is this one is a log right log of viability over time that's because uh, here mm -hmm. the viability is uh, exponential minus t mm -hmm. So, so if we don't take a lot, uh, maybe maybe it's good time to do a R exercise for this. Yeah. So let me pause.